Hello, my name is Katrin. Um, I'm an artist uh, living locally here in Folkestone and I would like to show you today how to make sculptures with um, margarine and plaster. So that might sound a little bit surprising, I know, because margarine is usually something you eat on your toast in the morning, but um, you can actually use margarine to make molds. So a mold is something that is like a negative um, shape, so basically a hole that you then fill with something hard. So the margarine um, top is like the container. So this one is a margarine top I've used, so you can see how it is. And um, the fun bit is actually making holes into the margarine with your finger or with little tools like a knife spoon, whatever you want. Um, so you scoop out a form and then fill it with plaster which then hardens and you end up with a with a shape that is quite hard and a bit strange and very surprising normally. So I made this one for example. This one my little girl made. It's a little hard. Very simple. And um, the person who invented this method of making Sculptures with margarine is my good friend Andrew Sabin, who is um, quite an amazing sculptor really. He makes sculptures with margarine molds that are room filling, sometimes as big as whatever, like 10 meters high or something. Um, if you're interested in him, I will put a link to his website maybe at the end of this video, but it's very inspiring to see how big you can go. I thought for for us now, it's probably good to keep it um, keep it small. So, a top of a big top of mar margarine that you buy in the supermarket is enough to start. And you actually can also stack up sculptures. So I show you a bit later how to do it. I think we start simple with one first sculpture, and um, take it from there. So here we are with our top of margarine. Um, a good idea is to tie your hair back before you start um, and maybe put some dirty clothes or aprons on it because it can get a little bit messy but it also is the fun bit so what we're gonna do now is we make a hole to start with into this margarine bit so what you see here is the negative shape I was talking about so the um, the, the margarine is now becoming the mold. So if I do that again, so take something out, I end up with a shape that looks a little bit like two feet maybe. So let's make it three. So you don't, I mean, hands are fun to use, but you can also use um, wooden sticks or you can give it a bit of texture by making little extra holes or little lines into the, into the mold because they will all show up when we then fill it with plaster. So let's make this stripey. Shall we give it a fourth leg? Yeah, let's give it a little fourth leg. Make a small one. So. Um, when you make your, your shape, you have to make sure that all the cavities are connected because the liquid will run into every little bit and take the the shape of the um, the hole but if there is something for example a random hole here and I fill the plaster in here then this obviously doesn't get filled so make sure they're all connected with each other okay I wonder how that's gonna look 
see. This is our shape. So the next step is wash your hands and then I show you how to mix the plaster. Okay, the plaster I'm using here has the ratio one cup of water, which you pour into a bucket or um, an old yogurt pot or whatever you have. And then two cups of plaster. To be honest, you can also do it quite, once you've done a few more sculptures, you can do it by hand. So you pour the plaster in and it sort of makes a little hill and sinks into the water. And once it doesn't sink in anymore, it should be enough. Let's see. A bit more. So. A good whisk. We want to end up with, with quite a, a liquidy plaster mixture. So don't make it too pasty because we're going to pour it. You see, it's like a very liquidy mixture, a bit, little bit like pancake mixture. Mm -hmm. um, you can put ink or acrylic paint into this mixture, so you can put red in and you end up with a, with a pink sculpture, or you put blue in and you end up with something pale blue. Um, but for now I'm going to use it as it is, because you can also paint it afterwards. So. Let's fill our mold. So you have the, the mold, you have the plaster, and you just pour it in. Like that. And then you let it set. So the set time can be some anything from between 20 and 40 minutes. Depends on the plaster you're using. You can tell when you tap the when you tap the plaster with your finger after maybe you can try after 20 minutes let's say and it's hard then you know that uh, your sculpture is ready to be taken out. Here we go the plaster has set and you can tell by tapping it it feels all nice and hard. So now we can take our sculpture out of the margarine and we do that by removing the side bits. Make sure you get all these little bits of, my, uh, of plaster out because they, if they're stuck in, they get caught up in your next sculpture because you can actually reuse the margarine mode. So, get it all out. Plaster tends to get a little bit warm when it sets. So you might find the margarine a bit warmed up. And the reason why I dig it out is that if you just pull it out, you might break bits off. So it's always good to check if it starts to wobble. Like that. And then here we go. So this looks a little bit like a mountain. Or something. This is our sculpture. So next step is to wash. Okay, here we go with our plaster sculptures. So if you remember, this is how we took the form, the sculpture out of the mold, and then I turn it over and end up with something like this which is quite surprising really. So in between the step of taking it out and having that sculpture, we washed it under warm, running warm water and a bit of fairy liquid is a good idea. And if you have a brush or um, something similar and sort of brush off with soap, brush off all the little bits of margarine, then it should be quite easy to clean it. And because we had too, a little bit too much plaster, we made a second sculpture, which looks 
bit more undulating, snaky. Very interesting and surprising shape too. So now you can make another one. And you do this by chucking the whole thing back into the form. Okay. Make sure there's no air holes in the margarine because they will show. Push it back right in. So. And here is like your almost your blank canvas for the next sculpture. A good tip is also to get the margarine off your hands initially, use something dry. It's better than washing your hand with um, with water and soap is actually the easiest to just use a bit of paper towel. And margarine is made from oil, olive oil or rapeseed oil or something, so you can also moisturize your hands with it. <laughs> um, with one kilogram of plaster, which is this sort of white powder, um, you should be able to make 10 to 15 of these size sculptures um, and you can also if you feel a bit adventurous you can start to put pigment into the the actual plaster so here is like a pink plaster which um, I, I put a bit of red pigment in the plaster mixture and poured it in you can also paint the sculpture because plaster soaks up any sort of paint so this is, has been painted with um, acrylic paint, you can also use felt pens, you can use watercolor, all sorts really, and experiment with painting onto the finished sculpture once it's dried. Um, you can try to include different things. So if you remember, we had the sculpture like this in the, sh in the, f in the mold. Um, once the plaster is still wet and you put in, let's say, a little flagpole or a little bit of pipe cleaner or whatever you find, a stick from the garden and have it stick out and let it dry like that, it will be in your sculpture. So you would be able to, you know, put your sculpture up some other way with something sticking out. Or you can connect two sculptures. So you make one and then you make another one and then maybe something sticks up or whatever so you can stack up if you want to and if you feel you would like to make something bigger as I said um, the the sculptor Andrew Sabin makes sculptures that are very 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 big and he has molds that are probably as big as a table or even bigger so you can go from that size which is confined by the package of margarine if you put loads of margarine into a bigger bucket, then you can make a bigger sculpture in the end. So there are really no limits and because one kilogram of plaster probably gets you quite far, you can experiment with sizes and colors. And I wish you a lot of fun with this messy way of making sculptures.